everyone, it's Jenny here from Jen Skinner Art. It's the end of a school year and we go through all our felt pens um, to find out which ones are still working and are suitable for the following year and which ones have what I call died. So already I've pulled some apart and I have them soaking in water and I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration on how I do that. Because I love all sorts of miniatures and crazy things, I usually keep the lids. Then I have a pair of gardening secateurs and that's what I've found to be the best. So I'm pulling the little tip out and then I've gradually, you know, over time worked out what part of the pen I need to cut and suddenly I have the potential for some really, really nice watercolour ink. So these pens, the white um, little nib at the end goes quite a way down the pen. So if I cut here, I can show you. One, it's a lot harder, but two, I still can't get um, the felt piece out from the inside. So it doesn't take me very long. I'm fairly practiced at it now. The only um, problem you'll have is that if you don't wear gloves, and some of the pens do have a little bit of um, ink still working in them, you'll end up with really messy hands. And if it gets up inside your fingernails, it can take a bit to get it out. So this little piece here, which I'll show you in just a second, um, has like a plastic coating around it. So if I pull that one out, so there's actually, it's shining there for you. It's a little plastic coating. And generally speaking, when you touch that, you don't get anything on your fingers. But then what I do is get a Stanley knife and very, very carefully splice it open. Now, even if the felt pen hasn't been working, the ink inside here is usually still moist and that's where you start to get lots of colour all over yourself. So um, looking after my fingers, I normally hold it in the vertical, just slip the tip of the Stanley knife at the top. It slides down easily and you can see it's like a cotton wool on the inside, though I dare say it's synthetic because it doesn't go mouldy and it doesn't disintegrate in the water. Now these are all water-based felt pens, so adding water to them means that I make a quite a rich watercolour and I can give you a very quick, just wet my brush, this isn't watercolour paper, this is just photocopying paper, but I did these ones last night, I put two shades, of that is, it's absolutely beautiful and it hasn't even all soaked out yet, so here's a Red. I've actually got red and a salmon pink um, in that one. If I go for a lighter colour like this yellow, you can still see how very rich and intense the colour is. Now in our Australian sunshine, I can um, get all the juicy goodness out of these until they turn white. I'm not sure if, see if I squirt some water you can see that the tips are turning white as the colour leaches out. 
and then when I've got all this liquid in the bottom I can keep it as a liquid watercolor or I can put it out in the sunshine and just let all the water evaporate and then I have a really really intense super intense um, residue left behind that is just jam-packed full of color so rather than throwing out your water-based markers you might want to give them a new lease on life by um, simply pulling them apart and um, creating your own watercolors so let me know in the comments if you give it a go and if you have fun bye for now